All right, this is what the world looks like after our first full, our fourth full round. Uh, we'll start here down in the corner. The Ottomans continue battling it out, continuing to be in economic collapse and yet staying out of political collapse turn after turn. Um, I have a feeling that uh, things are coming to a close for them, but they've managed to stay alive so far. So who knows? Um, up on the Russian front, the Germans counterattacked into Galatia, all but wiped out the Russians. They've got one infantry there, so it is technically contested. They did start moving in along the Russian front. They have not moved into Belarus, but instead moved north and then south into Ukraine. Russia opted to build lots of defense on their turn, so we'll see uh, how things go from there. Moving across the Mediterranean, the Italians attempted to do another naval uh, amphibious assault on Constantinople, but their transport was hit with a sea mine, and so that failed. Um, so instead, they began tr attempting to fan out into Austria, into Bohemia, into uh, Trieste. Uh, did not roll particularly well. In fact, hit nothing in Bohemia, so both of those are still contested. Um, let's see, as we move across, we've got the Americans really getting into the war here. In fact, they just landed into, uh, let's see, what was the territory? Kiel, up there, splitting the Germans in half, um, at least up there. I uh, took out the German Navy, and they continue to have ships moving across. Actually, did you put down your units for America at the end oh, of your turn? America should have some transports in C-Zone 1. Um, so they are in a position to continue to move guys across. Things are very crowded over here. I'll zoom in a little bit. Um, but it looks like we, as the Allies, are starting to really be able to push forward into Germany along there. So that is how things look at the end of turn four.